Hey guys, so in this video we're going to set up progress bar for our crafting button and it shouldn't take too long, but at least we will learn how to make a custom event with a timer on it and it will be very useful later on in the project because we will be using it quite a lot. So, first thing we need to do is go to your crafting. Here we're going to change this button a little bit, so scroll down to button, crafting button and let's just make it a little bit bigger. So I think it's too small, I want it long. Uh, I'll change size what to 50, so 180 times 50, or maybe even 200. And then I'll do position Y minus 10, so it's in the middle. And you can also change this text to only like 20. Mm ball that's fine and i'll change the shadow color alpha channel to one so we got a little bit of shadow okay and after that go back to crafting we don't want to have a rounded box we'll just do normal uh, box so square and now we don't want to have anything so we will remove the background completely because we will add the progress bar behind it and that will be our background so now copy this from normal, <coughs> sorry, click on the right side here, copy, paste it in the hover, and paste it in the pressed. Now we'll add the progress bar, so search for progress bar. Let's add it to our canvas panel, uh, which is this one here under crafted, crafted item. Now we'll make it same size, so which is 250. So 200x, 50y. We'll anchor it to the bottom middle. So control and shift and click. And it has offset of minus 10. Now we will make a Z order to minus one. And we got it behind the button and this is now our background. If you want to change this background, we have a style here. So open up style and you got background image. And you got the tint here, or you can add the image. But we can just change the tint. I'll leave it as it is for now. And then your fill color and opacity will be what it will look like when it fills up. So if you want to see it, you got the progress here and percent. It doesn't go 1 to 100, it goes 0 to 1, so 0 0.5 it's 50%, alright? And this is the crafting bar, so I don't want to have it blue, I'll do something, I'll just grey and dark, maybe a little bit bluish, there we go, let's see what it looks like. That will be your crafting progress and now we can just go and style it for now just turn off the percent to zero we don't need it compile and save uh, one more thing make sure this is a uh, we rename this to crafting progress bar and check in is variable in the graph now what we want to do is, obviously we need to be holding the button for progress to happen. So we don't want to have it on clicked. We need to go to designer, scroll down here on this button, on the button and click on pressed. Then go back to designer, scroll down and also click on, on released. So we'll use these two. Now, on pressed, we'll replace it. That we have this one on clicked, we'll replace it with on pressed. Connect it there, and we will create a new variable here that will be holding button. And we'll set it here to true. So when we press the button, we are holding the button. We'll compile and save. And now, here on release, we will set this holding button to false because we're not holding the button anymore. Now, 
So we're here checking if we got enough materials and then we're crafting the item. So before we craft the item, we can grab all of this from the true branch. Uh, select it all, hold control and add to it, but make sure you select it all. Right click, we will collapse to function. This will be craft item. I'll just have it here. And before we do this, we're going to create custom event called craft. Actually create it down here somewhere. We will just call it here on true branch craft. And now we're going to uh, drag from here, from this craft. We're going to set timer by event. And what this does, this I mentioned, so this is the function that will start an event. We can add a custom event to this. And it will be, if we select it, it will be looping per like we got the seconds, we can set the seconds here or milliseconds or anything and it will be doing something. So let's create one more custom event. And this will, this will be crafting bar percentage. We'll connect this node to here, to the event. We will set it to looping. So as soon as we start it will loop and it will loop we need to set it to something very low because if you remember we do have a time dilation when we open the inventory so everything is slowed down so we need to put like four zeros and one i don't know what's the minimum but if you put few zeros in there it will just set it to minimum so just leave four zeros and one and that will pr practically do something every millisecond Normally, you would only put 0 0.01, which would be one millisecond out of the second. OK, but we need to put less since we got the time dilation. So maybe even five zeros. And now. Uh, here on a crafting bar percentage, what we're going to do is first we need to do branch check. And don't worry about this now for the we're going to do here right click and get our sorry get our progress bar so crafting progress bar and we're going to set percent get this one the progress the function we'll connect it to false and we'll be increasing the progress so from the progress bar again get percent so we're getting the percentage of the progress bar which currently is at zero and then we will add to it so plus 0 0.01 so we'll add one percent to it every millisecond so in one second we should have an item crafted okay there might be a time that we will have to play with this a little bit more with the value because of time dilation but we will make it work and now connect it to set percent all right so this event will start here on the before the branch we need to also grab the crafting progress bar again uh, get percent and we will check if it's greater or equals one which mean which means it's full so if it's not full if it's not hundred percent then we're increasing the percent but if it's if it is hundred percent we're going to set our holding button to false so we will reset it we will reset the percent so get this uh, copy this thing copy paste it here set percent to zero and we will call this craft item craft item so once the progress bar reaches 100 we will reset the holding button we will reset the percent and we'll craft the item okay we don't need it here now, so we'll remove it from here. And don't forget to connect the active item info. Ah, sorry. 
let's break it open it on, it only takes the crafting so connect the crafting let's connect it here and then we also need to clear this timer otherwise it will run all the time so what we will do is we will promote this to a variable this will be timer handle which is that is the type of it timer handle and then here after we craft the item we will uh, get this timer handle and we will clear and invalidate timer by handle all right and also what we need to do now is on our on our release where is it yeah so on release we will also reset the crafting button the uh, crafting progress bar so copy this paste it here so if you released early we need to set it to zero and we also uh, do we need to we also need to invalidate time so we'll get this timer handle and we'll switch it off so clear and invalidate timer by handle all right so that happens only if you release early and then when we press we're holding the button we are crafting the item as long as we have materials remove this and that will be looping through this increasing the percentage and once the per percentage is at 100 we will craft the item um, in this crafted item i want to do one thing if you can see we are picking up item after we are removing the materials the problem is our inventory can be full and this pickup item will fail but it will first remove the material and then it will give us notify that inventory is full and we won't pick up any item so what we want to do is we want to do pick up first so alt click and disconnect this connect completed to refresh inventory and pick up item get another player info player reference connected here and we want to call it on the beginning of this function so connect it here and then connect it to execution and then we'll move this down a bit and we'll do branch check and if this is success so if you picked up the item then we're going to go here if it's false we can just return note because pickup item already has a uh, notify that the uh, inventory is full. So compile and save. And now in the event graph, what else we need to change? I think that might be it. We start in the timer. We're progressing. Okay, let's see if that works. So pick up some materials go to crafting go to rock blade and now you can see if i'm holding it and releasing it early it resets it to zero and if i keep holding it all the way to the end it crafts the rock blade and resets it again and then does it again and then if you don't have materials it will say not enough materials it won't even start the timer okay and that is pretty much all we have to do here as i said this is a short one and what we need to do in the next one we will in this crafting we will actually make use of this crafting level and crafting experience and we'll level it up and we'll use our stats for it and then maybe create a widget here that will have a, another progress bar with our level and with our experience okay so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.